ready? One, two, three. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lives, real lives, all the time. Stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI. Right back at it again. To continue on to Bingham Road. Okay, Siri, and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, yes, I did get some runs in with a 5.0 A10 stop stop. Turn right onto Katy Freeway Frontage bro. Road. <laughs> Siri, bro, chill, dog, chill. Anyway, like I was saying before, Siri interrupted me. Um, yes, I did get some runs in with a Gen 3 A10 5.0 Mustang. Um, bro had a drag pack in the rear. He actually had the VMSs that uh, Frankie has on his car. He had those on the back. And um, he claims he was stock. So stock car versus stock car. Mile. Keep left to merge onto Katy Freeway. Now, as you guys see by the title of the video, yes, this is going to be my last stock run. Um, now the reason why I'm not just showing you guys straight video type and it's kind of like a keep left to merge onto Katy Freeway. It's kind of like a story time video is because of the simple fact that. I actually was going to record, bro, and literally my camera's battery ended up dying. So we were gonna be doing three runs. We we're gonna be doing a 50, I mean a 40, a 50, and a 60. And what ended up happening was we were able to run the 40 and we were able to run the 50. Now with the 50, the first run, bro said his car didn't shift. And then with the second run, um, we were running and then there was a car in front of me so I had to let off and it was actually a good run too it was a chase he was uh, pulling up on top end but I had to get out of it because the car that was in front of me um, and then we didn't do a 60 and the reason why we weren't able to do a 60 is because legit after we ran the 50 there was a little bit of cars or whatever in Mexico so you know what I'm saying we had to pass up those cars after we passed up those cars we were lining up to do the 60 and there was a federale <laughs> behind Use the, the mustang and he went ahead and lit us up downtown. he went ahead and lit us up and legit bro i started to drop they the mustang started to drive a little slower than i was so he got next to the mustang getting behind me when he got behind me i'm like damn he really about to pull me over when I was uh, when I realized that you know what I'm saying he was trying to pull me over I'm like damn all right it is what it is but then he goes from being behind me to getting next to me I cannot make this up y'all bro legit let's go let's the siren off he takes off um so with that being said if I can get the footage off of my dash cam as y'all know we have the front facing and the rear facing dash cam if I can get the footage off of my dash cam I'm gonna go ahead and insert those clips in the video after that we ended up taking the closest exit and we just didn't get no runs in um so unfortunately those are actually gonna be the last runs I had while my car was stopped um we're currently on our way right now to go install my headers and my e85 kit um you guys will see that in a later video but yeah man i'm super stoked right now i can't even lie to you guys uh i'm so surprised that he just let us go like that like he just took off that was crazy but with all that being said y'all been talking for four minutes so <laughs> you guys have obviously been watching staying tuned and whatnot let's go ahead and run these runs man Ready? One, two, three.
there you guys have it. As you guys can see, we ran the 40 and we ran the 50. Vader took the dub in the 40 easy. Like, it was bad, bro. As y'all saw, it was like two cars. I ain't even gonna lie. Then the 50, again, we started to pull away, pull away, pull away, and then bro started to pull up. So, I ain't even gonna lie, the higher rolls are definitely better for Coyotes. I've said this um, ever since I owned one in Reaper, but it's, it's inevitable, bro. The Coyote loves the top end, that's all it is, and the Camaro's top end is where it lacks. I'm not even gonna lie, me personally, I feel like the top end is where the LT uh, one motor actually lacks, honestly, because if we could have the amount of torque and power band that we have down low up top that's it it's rap snacks but yeah man as you guys saw man we got some pretty good runs in i don't even know bro's name if you're watching this bro drop your addy down in the comment section down below my boy fat Trump is the one that actually set the runs up it's his homeboy um you know what i'm saying and fat Trump has a 810 as well and he also has a 2015 six speed manual car like reaper literally a spitting a spitting image of reaper bro and the cloth seats the uh, black on black like it legit looks just like reaper obviously stock mustang things but anyway yeah man so he's the one that set it up unfortunately his car is down right now so we can't run that and i'm not about to run a stock manual 5.0 when uh, we already know what the outcome is going to be so with that being said uh the boy fat Trump ended up calling his boy his boy pulled up on the whole tire and you guys saw the result now with that being said that's actually gonna do it for it. i just wanted to go ahead and share that quick little story time with you guys um you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button man and turn on those post notifications because the next couple videos really and truly every video that i put out is a banger but these next few videos is exactly what you guys want this is the preparation um Basically, we're going full boat time, legit. The only thing that's gonna be stopped, other than the motor and the cam, is gonna be the throttle body. We are not upgrading the throttle body. We're still on the stock throttle body. Currently running the LT2 intake manifold with the stock LT1 uh, throttle body and the CA engine cover. So, yeah, man, everything's getting touched. We got the Rotofab intake on, getting the speed engineering, 178 long tube headers put on right now. Um, and the E85 flex fuel kit, both sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports. If you guys need any parts or whatever, man, make sure you guys go tap in with them. Use promo code JI Wild to save yourself some money at checkout. But that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video, man. Let's go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and roll that outro, man. Peace.